Welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In today's episode of Tool Time, we'll be looking at the curvature tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm gonna pass you over to our lead designer, Rory, who will show you how it works. Thanks, Ross. So jumping straight in, we can find the curvature tool over on the left-hand side next to the pen tool. Now, just like the pen tool, I can start using the curvature tool by simply clicking and plotting anchor points. Now, the difference is here, you can see we're not getting any preview line for our path and our anchor points are circles instead of squares, but they are still anchor points. If I plot another point, we're now getting a projected curving line and this will constantly adapt depending on on the anchor points I place. So this is Illustrator essentially trying to create the most optimum flow of the path between these anchor points depending on how we place them. Now I can also create sharp corners by simply double clicking and you can see the path on the other side of this anchor point is not changing now. I can double click again to create another sharp point or single click to go back to my curved anchor points. If I go back to the start you can see if I hover here it's going to join this back up and again it's going to curve the path based on the angle it's joining at or again if I double click this is going to create a sharp corner. Now with the curvature tool still selected I can actually go back and click and move on any of these anchor points here. I can double click on any of the curved ones to convert them to sharp corners and vice versa. If I double click again on a sharp corner that's going to convert it to a curved corner. So this is a very useful tool to use. We're going to quickly try and trace this simple fire icon here using it so at the bottom I'm just going to click and I'm just looking for the widest point in the curve in this example I want to double click to create a sharp point single click in the middle double click at the next sharp point and so on and so forth so I'll continue going around using the same method using double clicks at all of the sharp corners and a single click in between to create the curves and you can see it's very simple to do now that I get back to to our first point. I want to make sure this is curving, but I want to make sure that the bottom point here is sharp. So if I double click on that, it's going to keep this sharp and the rest is going to be curved. Now I can start on the inner flame. So again, same principles apply and you can see how easy it is to start building up some simple curved paths using this tool. Again, I can go and alter any of these if I feel they're not quite sitting the way I want them to and the path is going to adjust on both sides of the anchor point, which is really useful. And that's it for the curvature tool. If you want to learn more about graphic design then we've created a free one hour training where we reveal our top five secrets to creating beautiful graphic design. So make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. The link is in the description. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you there.